Welcome back you guys. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video. If you're new here, my name is Kate. So once again, it is that time and I'm here to share my monthly roundup of beauty favorites. I'm so excited to do this. This is always one of my favorite videos to film for the month. I'm excited to share a small roundup of makeup, hair care, and skincare items with you guys. So stay tuned if you wanna see and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm starting with this cause I feel like there's no way that I couldn't I have raved about this all month long and I am obsessed. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is the $5 mascara that is absolutely incredible. If you haven't tried this, just run to Ulta or go online, put this in your cart and hit checkout. Like you need this, it is so good. I just raved about this all month. I was so shocked at how much I love this mascara, how much like power it packs and the brush and the formula. It fans the lashes out so beautifully. It has really great hold. It gives volume, it gives length, and I really feel like it gives a falsy effect. I love it. So I do have it on currently, and I think my lashes look really great if I do say so myself. The brush on this is really sleek and it has a slightly tapered effect to it. It's like not really noticeable. I'd say it's more on the minimal side, but it definitely is tapered. And I love brushes like this that have the shorter little fibers um, to really hook and coat lashes. It's just amazing. I love it. I've played around with this obviously quite a few times now because this is like all I've been grabbing for the past month and it's really buildable. It's a wet mascara. So I like to do a layer and then let it sit and dry and then you can keep building it from there. So you can really pack this on and make your lashes like whoa, va va voom. Or if you wanna go more on the natural side, you can only do like a few coats and they still look absolutely beautiful. So this is 13 out of 10 for me in terms of drugstore mascara, I just can't even believe this is $5. The price point is unreal. I hope they never stop making this. It's amazing and everyone needs to go run and grab this. Uh, one thing I will point out that I got a couple messages about when I first shared this is that a few of you had shared with me that you felt like it was really, really hard to get off. I have not had that problem, um, but I also double cleanse, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but typically when I wash my face, I do start out with an oil or a cleansing balm, and then I go back over it with a regular face wash. So. I haven't had any trouble getting this off, but if you um, wear this and do have trouble, or if you have had trouble in the past, like I would suggest maybe try starting out with some sort of oil or balm um, to get it off and then follow up with a cleanser and see how that helps. Next, I have a brow product, and this is such a handy little find. This is the Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum by Grande Cosmetics. Um, I haven't really used any lash or brow serums before, but I got this sent to me and I was intrigued. I wanted to try it out. For the most part, I do have pretty full or thicker brows, but I always have little areas that pop up here and there that maybe are sparser than the rest of my brow and that ideally I would like to have fluffed up and filled in a little bit more. So I've been using this, I wanted to give it a try. Um, it is super compact and like a very lightweight serum. And from the month or so that I've been using this, I truly do feel like it works. Uh, this is supposed to be a four month supply and full transparency, I have not used this every single day. Um, I've used this a couple times a week for the past month, month and a half, and I definitely notice a difference. I don't get anything done with my brows, like I don't go and get them waxed or threaded or anything. I really just tweeze as necessary and for the most part, like. I don't typically have a lot of hairs that are thickly growing back, um, so I don't even really have to tweeze all that often. But since I've been using this, I 1000% have hairs pop up and I'm not talking like one little single hair, like I'll get a few that will come in so I know that it's working. I also do feel like it's helped with the tail of my brow, um, this one in particular. I know you probably can't tell because they're filled in right now, um, but this tail over here tends to just be like a little more on the sparse side, uh, especially compared to this one. And I feel like there are hairs growing in. I really, I really, really do. I think that it is working. I feel like it has thickened up just a little bit. Not anything like super traumatic yet, um, but they're definitely coming in. 
So I'm excited to continue using this and just see how it works. But overall, I love this stuff. And I've had a couple of you DM me on Instagram as well and tell me that you've used this and how much you love it as well. And I've even had one of you send me before and after pictures um, from using this and I was blown away. So you can take that for what you want. But from what I've seen from actual people who've just purchased this product, like it really, really works. So I'm excited to continue using this and we'll keep you guys updated. I picked this up a while ago and had shared it in my Ulta haul and let you guys know that I wanted to try this out as a cream contour since one of my contour sticks was sold out. And oh my gosh, it's so good. I really, really love this as a cream contour. It is so stunning. It blends like a dream and I love the shade that I picked out. So if you're not familiar with this packaging, this is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. It has this cute little puffer on the end and you twist it up, that's how you get the product out. And I had used this for so long as a concealer but I had never thought to use it as a contour. I think I saw Brittany Bear uh, use it on TikTok. She's like the OG makeup queen love her makeup, uh, but she was using this to cream contour and I was like, that looks so good on her. So that's where I got the idea from, but I picked up the shade tan and it's perfect. It is just like a beautiful, slightly warm brown and it makes you look super sun-kissed. Um, I'm wearing this now. I think it blends out like a dream. I've been using a brush, um, but this is definitely, I would say, a more affordable alternative to a cream contour option if you are into that. Uh, and obviously with this being a concealer line, they have a ton of different shades. So if you do need something darker, lighter in between, um, they'll definitely have that for you. But I have been using this like every single day to do my makeup and I don't really feel like I've put quite a dent in it yet. So I'm excited. I'm hoping in terms of longevity and how long this product lasts, um, it's looking good right now. It looks like it will pan out and I will have this for a bit. It's not a product that I'm gonna run right through. So I'll keep you guys posted on that, but I definitely would recommend picking this up if you wanna try out something different for a cream contour or cream bronzer, cause it is so beautiful. Moving on, I have been so in love with this element Pro Collagen Rose Oil. I just love the way this smells. I love anything rose scented. It's my favorite scent or one of them. Um, and Elemis products are just so heavenly and dreamy and potent and they work and they're just really luxe. I love Elemis. My wallet doesn't always, but I do at heart. So I've been using this for the past few weeks and I will tell you guys when I first went to apply this, it has like a really nice little dropper here. I did probably like three to four drops all over my face. It was way too much. This doesn't look like it, but it is so fluid in texture in the best way possible. It's very much still an oil, but a little goes a long way. So if it looks like I've used barely any of it, um, it's because I really haven't had to. I say that because one, I wouldn't want anyone to overuse this and do it. I did that first time where I'm like, oh my God, I don't need this much product. Two, with the price point that some Elemis products are at, um, one, you don't wanna overuse it and like use a product when you don't need to. You wanna savor that baby. And also I'm calling this out because of the price point um, to share that this is going to last you actually a very long time, which I think is a huge added bonus and plus. I'm sure it just depends on the oil or serum that you're getting from them because I do also have the superfoods oil and that I can use like three drops and it covers my face and soaks right in. This I'm telling you one drop and then just press it in the skin. It smells like heaven. It feels so good. And with this being priced at $79, you definitely don't wanna go through this little guy very quickly. Um, it's 0.5 fluid ounces, so it really is a cute, tiny little bottle. I love the packaging. I think it's so pretty. And um, this is designed to help with wrinkles and anti-aging to give a youthful and radiant and soft complexion. And I definitely feel like if anything, it 
absolutely just makes your skin feel so lush and nice and soft and supple and just really revives. So anytime I'm feeling like my skin is a little dry or dull and like I need a pick me up, I definitely will use this. I like using it at nighttime, um, again, because you need so little product and two, it just like is so rich. I don't know that this is necessarily something I would want to use in the morning, especially before doing makeup, but at night, it is an absolute treat and I love it. All right, moving on, I could not remember if I had shared these, but I'm like pretty positive that I haven't. If I have, then that will just go to show how much I see seriously love these. So I love the Laura Mercier blushes in general. They're stunning, but recently they came out with some new shades and these two in particular are so gorgeous. I cannot stop using them and they're so pretty and I have them on today. So this first shade is Watermelon. It's like a beautiful peachy pink. It's super summery and just gives the most radiant pink flush and glow to the cheeks. And then the second one that I love is Bellini. And this one is slightly um, warmer. It has like a little bit more peach to it. I don't even know how to explain it. This one is just so beautiful. If you want like a nice light flush to the cheeks that looks really airy and radiant, Bellini is the one. This is the one that I'm wearing today. It is stunning, um, but just to give you a little comparison so you can see the difference in shades, uh, both are so beautiful. And these are like the prettiest summer shades if I do say so myself. So if you haven't tried these La Mercier blushes, you are missing out. They have so many shades and the compacts are so nice. They have this cute little mirror here. So I'm just a big fan of these. I think they are so flawless. They glide right on. I love using a big fluffy brush to apply these and they layer really well with it, all sorts of products and powders. I've never had any trouble or anything with patchiness. Overall, just like a good holy grail product. So then I have this hair find from Briogeo. This is their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. There's no way I was gonna memorize that, but it comes in this giant tub and I've really liked their charcoal line in the past. I've used their like, I think it's charcoal jelly shampoo and conditioner before. It's amazing. I love the little tingle that it leaves and it's really great for giving your scalp a super deep clean and leaving it light and fresh without all of that buildup that you probably don't even realize that you have. Um, so this was a newer product that I hadn't tried. I hadn't tried this one specifically yet and it is so good. It has that same sort of tingle to it, which I really love. You get so much product in here. Um, a little goes a long way and this is definitely one that I feel like you can kind of target certain areas too. Um, so for example, if you don't wanna do your whole head, I think you could totally just do around your hairline if you needed to, or if you really need to detox like the back underneath of your scalp, you could do that as well. Um, or you can do your whole head. Love the feeling that this leaves. It leaves my hair feeling just so fresh and light. And it smells so good. It has like a pepperminty sort of scent to it. it smells very, very nice. Um, I oftentimes will do like a double shampoo or a double cleanse on my hair, especially if I've gone <laughs> maybe a little too long without washing it. Um, and have used a lot of product in between. So I typically will do like my normal shampoo to start out just to like give it a good scrub. And then I'll follow up with this and go in and just like really deep clean it, get all of that buildup and gunk off of my scalp and then go in with conditioner. So your scalp just feels so nice and fresh and revived. You have so much more volume in your hair and it's just, uh, it's so good. I can't explain the feeling, but it is one of my favorite feelings in the whole wide world. So whether you just pick up the shampoo or you pick up the shampoo and conditioner or vice versa, you really cannot go wrong with this line. It's amazing. Next, I have another go-to and reliable drugstore find. This Milani Baked Bronzer is so gorgeous. Wearing it today. 
I tried to wear as many products as I could for this video that I'm talking about, but I am wearing this. It is stunning. I go through phases with products just because I like to rotate things in and out, but I'm like hooked on this right now. I cannot stop using it. It's so dang pretty and I just love the way this looks. I love the way it applies. I love the way it wears. Um, this is in the shade nine, which is Dolce. I think you get so much product for this. I know it's under $10. I just love Milani products. I think they are really nice quality. They're pigmented and I love their price point. Baked bronzers are one of my favorites because I just feel like they go on really flawlessly and they almost look like just so airbrushed because of the way that they apply. So I'm always a fan of that. And this one in particular, I'm sure you guys can see, it has like the gold flecks throughout, but this is not a shimmer bronzer by any means. It just has a really nice natural glow to it. And I really like that all year long, but especially during summer, I just think it's so pretty. I've been layering this actually over top of the cream contour product, the Maybelline concealer to set. And these two work so nice together. They layer really well. And I'm always a fan of a bronzer that I don't have to worry about any sort of patchiness or anything like that. So overall, I just love this. I can't say enough good things about this. I would buy this a thousand times over and I won't keep rambling, but it's so good. This is one of those products that makes me go, why would someone pay $40, $50 for a bronzer when you can pay like 10 bucks and get this beautiful little thing? And as you guys know, it just wouldn't be a monthly favorites video if I didn't have some sort of lip product to share with you guys. So I tried out some of the new Huda Beauty uh, nude and pink lipsticks and I've fallen in love with this one in particular. It is in the shade Buttercup. It's like the perfect pinky nude, which I'm always just gonna be drawn to. I cannot help it. I am sorry if that is redundant, but this is my jam. This is what I love. It's so pretty. It is super wearable. I really like the formula of these. They're really soft and nice. And this color is just beautiful. I think it's like a really nice everyday sort of color, but you can pair it with different liners to like give it more of a little oomph if you need to. Um, but the packaging I think is so stunning. I really like it. It's just kind of like modern and I like the ombre of it and the square, I don't know. So fun. I had never tried any Huda Beauty uh, lip products before until now, until I got this package. So my first impression is that I really like them. The formula is nice. I feel like this is kind of like a satin um, finish to it, or maybe even like cream sheen. It's not super, super dark. Like it definitely covers the lips. Um, but it has some life to it. I feel like it's hydrating and you can build it up, but as I'm sure you guys can see, it's just not a super, um, opaque color, which I really like, especially for summer. Sometimes I just want like a little color, but I don't want anything like too thick or heavy. And I just don't feel like this applies that way at all. And last but not least, I have this Iconic London Prep Set Glow Water Mist. Um, I don't know why I've had this for so long and really didn't start picking it up and using it until this past month. I've used it maybe once or twice before, but yeah, I've just really been gravitating towards this just because I'm into a luminous, glowy, dewier, dewier sort of look. And um, this, I would say, definitely helps contribute to that. This is a product that I will say I don't like using on its own. I do like to go in and set with something like my All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay, and then I will mist this over top. Um, just because I'm not like sold on this being a longevity setting spray in terms of keeping everything in place, if that makes sense. But it's super refreshing and I love the luminosity that it gives. As I'm sure you guys can see, like there, it's just, it's so pretty. There's like magic happening in this bottle. Um, there is the shimmer that's there on the bottom and you do have to shake it quite a bit. Oh my God, my arm's gonna fly away. You have to shake it up quite a bit, but when you do, Oh my gosh, it just looks like liquid velvet in a bottle. It's so pretty. 
and it is definitely like shimmery. So if you're not into that, you probably won't like this, but I do not necessarily for every day, but I would say there's time and place. And when that comes about, I definitely love using this product. It does, I will also call out, um, have quite a bit of a perfumey scent to it. I think it smells really good, but I could also see that sort of bothering some people. So just keep that in mind. But overall, this product is so stunning. I do think it comes in a couple other shades. I think there is like a gold one and a bronzier one, um, but I just love this original. I think it's really pretty and light and glowy. This is dried down a little more, so I just wanted to quickly share what it looks like obviously if you were going to spray it on your face it would be a larger surface area um, but it does definitely have that pretty little glowy sheen to it which i think is so cute all right you guys so that is going to conclude this round of monthly favorites so i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any recommendations or things you want to see me try out for the month of june but love you guys so much thanks again and until next time I know we're acting stupid.